Hey, we are just getting started with our online mentorship. Actually, I'll show you a picture here momentarily. My name's D7 here on Rock Trade. This is the weekend edition. Saturday morning for me, and I'm here drinking my hot coffee. And this is good through Sunday, January 22nd, 2017. And on Friday, the markets go bullish with the inauguration. And now we have a new president, President Trump, in office. And actually, I have some killer stats to share with you on what the markets typically do, what they typically do uh, after inauguration. And we'll be looking one month out, three months out. You know, So I've got a lot of data to show you here. This is going to be a great video. And this is one that you'll want to share. Anyway, the market's bullish, 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 bullish across the board. Banks doing the best, up um, almost a full percent. And uh, a drop here in the U.S. dollar that helped the markets, especially helping crude oil. Well, all the commodities, for the most part, did well. But crude oil did the best, up nearly 2%. VIX, VIX, VIX dropping, dropping uh, 10%. So a fear, like... It's just big time dropping. The fear is gone. At least on Friday, it was gone. Now, Monday, it could certainly come back. But anyway, uh, taking a look at the markets, we've got a lot of stuff to get to. But before we do, I want to show you this. Let's bring this over. Let's bring this over. Here's the source LPL Research Fact Set. And you can pause the video. Pause the video and take a look at this. Take a look. So two weeks after a new president, usually, 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 the markets are bullish, right? You can see that, usually bullish. One month after, it's usually bearish. <laughs> and three months later, usually bullish. So we're all over the board, all over the board. but. If you look at this, statistically, we have a 77.8% chance in the next two weeks that we'll be more bullish. This is going back to 1953 with Eisenhower. But again, you can pause this and analyze this. Great information. Again, share the video. A lot of people would find this uh, fascinating. Uh, some of you guys who are... Uh, you know, engineer types and stat junkies, <laughs> you're welcome. And uh, the class, yeah, let me show you a picture of this. Um, here's our class. I just took this picture moments ago. And um, one of the first things we do is introduce each other. And this is a Dorian Luke. Uh, we have three different countries represented here. There's two females who are not, they don't have their cameras on um, at the, right here, but they're on the call. But anyway, we have, um, yeah, three different countries. That's my phone. Someone's sending me a text. Uh, we have three different countries. Last month, we had four different countries. It's very interesting to see how many countries, how international we're becoming. I do have, we do have followers from 155 countries, and now we're starting to... Uh, mentor people from all over. It's really good. With a, we have roughly twenty five hundred mentee students uh, from all the mentors. That's part of uh, Grok Trade. We've been doing this a long time. Matter of fact, my company's been up. I can't believe this. Ten years. Ten years. And it's huge. And next month, I'll be trading nineteen. There's a lot of stats for you. That will not benefit you one iota. Anyway, if you want to do mentoring with us, which you should, you know, to be quite frank, you're insane if you do not. It's the best value in town, bar none. And I don't say that lightly, but if you go to Grok Trade, click on Trading Mentor, read all the fluff junk, and then fill out the form, and we'll have a chat. We'll talk about mentoring and how that will change your life. Matter of fact, watch the videos. You'll see how these uh, the lives of these individuals have been changed. So you hear it from the from their own mouths, which is, you know, proofs in the pudding. Proofs in the pudding. Anyway, here we are. Now, here's the deal. This shocked me. 
on Inauguration Day. I thought we would see a decisive move one direction or the other. But we had a ton of play. Look at the volume here on the Spider. This is the S&P 500 ETF. Look at the volume. Just boom, big, big volume on an itsy-bitsy little mini-me doji. Now, gang, let me tell you this. Normally in technical analysis, when you get a tiny itsy bitsy little trading range doji type candlestick with huge volume, that is like a vehicle or a motorcycle being revved up, but the clutch is still pulled in. It's not moving, but the engine is screaming. Normally this is indicative of a big, big move. I've been talking about this big move. Look at the consolidation. We are consolidating. We're above most major moving averages, and we have a better, as far as statistically speaking, we have a 78% chance that the markets would be higher in the next two uh, weeks. But more importantly, we have on the technical analysis a big run up, 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 and then we go into a bullish pennant. So this is statistically more bullish than it is bearish, okay? So the odds, statistically speaking, are more bullish than they are bearish. However, however, I've been doing this a long time. I can tell you this. This thing could crash and burn just as easily as it can pop up. This is why I don't guess in the markets. I am the house, not the gambler. And that's actually what we teach. We teach you the professional levels and in information of, of trading. Most of you guys out there are gamblers. You try this and that, and you guess on what's to come. You'll watch the news and assume that certain news should be bullish, and it turns out bearish, or vice versa, and you just get torn apart in the markets. Let those be. Let those be days be gone. By gone. Yesterday, not tomorrow. Not your tomorrow. You're gonna be a rock star trader tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be different because you're gonna invest in yourself first. Here it is. Look at this. Now, I am going to go to a weekly, weekly chart, okay? Now, watch this. If I go to the weekly chart, it doesn't show us anything different. Weekly chart shows us a big pinching pattern. So what's going to happen? I'm going to, let's delve in here a little bit. Let's delve in. I'm going to get rid of these lines, okay? Look at this. We have a white candlestick higher. Here we have a candlestick. For the week, we went down, 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 but people bought that weakness and went right back up. So the body is at the high upper part of this candlestick. Likewise, this past week, the body is higher on the candlestick than lower. Not by much, but it, it's there. We had three bullish candlesticks for the week in a row. So this is statistically more bullish than it is bearish. All right, let's go further. The monthly chart, which is the most important, is this. I mean, we're in the we're deep into January right now, but we're just in a big, nice, bullish up leg. Look at this up, up leg. The only thing we have not done in January is made a new high from December. We haven't done that yet. We haven't done that yet. And our mentor group, uh, we all of our mentor students from the past and present, uh, we do regular uh, webinars, right? At, and we'll do these where we'll share new education that we find that's working in the markets and all that. But we talked about this at length. Uh, a couple nights ago, all the students, and that that's this is interesting. This is interesting. So, uh, what was a bearish divergence is um, broken, and now um, there's nothing but uh, bull side here. It's bullish side. So things are looking nice for longs at this very moment. Now, Nasdaq, Nasdaq for the month is same thing boom broke resistance but this could be a false signal meaning that this is still 
a dynamic candlestick is not yet static. And I don't want to get too detailed on you, okay? This, you, most of you, I, anyway, here's the, here's the bottom line. By the end of the month, it could come back down and close below this red line for the monthly chart. By doing so, this is going to make it highly bearish. And we talked about this, our mentor students, um, just a couple nights ago at great, great length. So if I go to the weekly chart on the NASDAQ, we're at resistance. So this is more bearish than it is bullish. We're at resistance. We're at resistance. This should start to drop. Will it? Hard telling. I don't know that it will. We'll have to see. Very important to watch that. The daily is at resistance. We popped up, 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 up on the NASDAQ, and then we're just hitting our head on resistance, resistance, resistance. This is begging to pull back now. Begging to pull back. If that pulls back on the daily, that means the monthly will pull back right here. And if it does that, then the next few months we're going to be nasty and bearish and just ugly. However, we could stay above this area of resistance. If the next two weeks we close out January positive like this, then the next few months are going to be pretty bullish, guys. I mean, we're at a real interesting place in the markets very interesting place in the markets and very exciting i have a ton of longs going and i've had these longs going and i'm a happy happy camper in the markets however i'm going to take my profits if the markets start to fall apart if they start to fall apart i'm going to say thank you and safeguard my money that's the best thing about trading is we can have risk when we want it and take risk away when we we're not confident. You know, it's just the best business model out there. Just the best one. All right, let's quickly look. Let's quickly look here at crude oil. Okay, crude oil daily chart, or monthly chart rather, <clears throat> is down, down, down. We had this falling wedge, which is bullish. We should have broke out. We did not break out. Now we're going into what's called a bear flag. Guys, I'm getting ready to put a sell on oil, okay, on the monthly chart. Monthly chart looks bearish to me. Looks bearish. So what I'm going to do is just say this is what it looks like. It looks like that to me, okay? I can't put a sell on it yet because nothing tells me to do so. But if I go to the weekly chart, weekly chart on crude oil, we're at resistance, we're at resistance. This thing should start to drop on us. Drop on us. This is a big symmetrical triangle. See this? This is actually a big bearish pennant at resistance. I mean, this is a great place to go short. But look at this. If you go more micro, you zoom in on this. Look what we have. This is why this next week is so important. This is a very important video that we're going over here. Look at this. Boom. High base. It's a choppy, nasty looking high base. I mean, it's uglier than sin, but nonetheless, it's staying high. So this tells me it has a, a chance of popping higher. And if it does that, then this bearish look that I'm seeing here in the markets won't mean anything. And this is on a weekly chart and the daily chart. Let's see if we can figure out anything here. You go here. We check this out. I called it a sell, sell down, 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 down. But then we pop back up. What a look at this. I've got my cell. I'm going to remain with my cell, but I have to massage this line now. I'm going to keep with my cell, but wow. I mean, we're just chopping sideways. Look at all these buy cells. It's just because we're in a sideways base. It has not moved. This is what's frustrating when you are. I'm picking when I, when I put myself out there on you know here are my buys and sell recommendations or when I'm bullish or bearish rather it's not a buy or sell it's bu when I'm bullish on something or bearish on something I put these arrows and I I'm committed to them this is what I call and you can see uh, I you know I'm, I'm I I really kill it when it comes to the odds but here I start to give back some money. I called it a sell buy. It's about break even. See this sell? Then, no, I made money on that one. Um, sell uh, buy. This is like a break even, it, and it does go up a little bit. Maybe made a little bit. I mean, this isn't bad, but normally in the sideways, when you do this, you just get chewed up and you lose money. But here, it looks like uh, we're positive. Gold. 
you gold bugs thank you for making it to this part of the video you guys are gonna get some good information daily chart up 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 this dude just keeps going higher gold is looking so so strong on the daily chart and if you go to the weekly chart now it's looking a little bearish we go higher 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 now we have a hanging man reversal pattern on the weekly chart this is more bearish and it is bullish so that's no good for gold gold is ready to pull back it looks like and it failed if it does pull back that means it failed to hit resistance so that's x that's x percent more bearish because it failed to hit this area it hit it here it hit it here it should hit it again and if it does drop going into next week that's going to be a problem so you need to watch the U.S. dollar to see it will the dollar go higher. If the dollar goes higher, it's going to put pressure on gold. And if you look at the monthly, though, this is the big picture, guys. The big picture is bullish, bullish, bullish on gold on the monthly chart. Month's not done yet with. So if we do start to bleed out and drop, this might be I might be a little too early jumping the gun here jumping the gun but the macd we have not crossed over we don't have a bullish histogram yet but this looks really bullish to me on the monthly chart like we could have multiple months of nice bullish behavior however it really stems back to the weekly chart i think short term the week would drop but then we could rally. We could drop and then rally. Let's see. It's we're, man. This is such a fascinating time in the markets. Silver. This is a weekly chart on silver. Silver's inside a big symmetrical triangle. We're up, up, up. Now we have a doji. It looks like it wants to drop now. Will we, or will this be a continuation doji? And will we pop higher? This is this is a weekly chart. Let's see what the monthly shows us. The monthly looks really bullish. Like this dude's getting ready to rally hard. And let's see here. We have the smallest of positive histogram ticks. You just can't get any smaller than that. <laughs> but this thing, if it breaks out, this will be a falling wedge breakout to the upside. And you'll see a big run with silver with big volume following it. Wow, the monthly just looks good. If we can stay strong, here's what's key, guys. The next two weeks, have to, if we stay strong in gold and silver, uh, expect a the rest of this year or a, a big part of this um, first part of the year is being bullish for gold and silver. Man, this is some good, good stuff. VIX, the VIX, the VIX. Look at this down 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 on the this is the daily chart we popped up but then we immediately come back down i am now going to massage that ever so slightly and we're we're heading down i mean this is wow i mean it's very fear is dropping and if i go to the weekly we're down, 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 down. Just there's no fear in the markets, none. I mean, we're at we're at 11.5 on fear. Are you kidding me? That's such an area of complacence, which can last there forever. By the way, let's see what the monthly shows us. Monthly, <sighs> monthly is stalled out at a, a support line right here. Support, 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 support. So this could go higher. We're at a support line. Let's see if we'll drop below this crucial number, 11.33 on the VIX. So if you want to be one of us and be part of the mentorship, I, you know what to do. You know what to do. You go to Grok Trade, click on Trading Mentor, and fill out the form. And let's talk about it, what that means for you. And lastly, lastly, here's your last chance. Take a snapshot of this and feast on all the technical and, or uh, stats. So thanks for staying with me. If you like it, like it. Share it with a friend. <laughs>